There are new apps popping up and advancements in technology that allow people to essentially use someone's face into video that they have not filmed. Sometimes that video can be sexual and explicit in nature. Now, I don't want to give the name of this technology and I don't wish to draw you know, people to it. But I do wanna let people know about how much this has advanced to the point where the video looks incredibly real and it's difficult to tell whether or not it's fake. Now, according to Motherboard that has done a great job reporting on this, more people are creating fake celebrity porn using machine learning and the results have become increasingly convincing. Another Redditor even created an app specifically designed to allow users without a computer science background to create AI assisted fake porn. All the tools one needs to make these videos are free, readily available, and accompanied with instructions that walk novices through the process. Now, this technology essentially relies on video, photos, stuff that you post on social media on a regular basis. And and you feed that information or that data through the technology and then the system can essentially learn the person's facial movements, things like that. And then they just put it into porn, that's it, they just put porn. Yeah. Innocent person, never taken a naked picture in his or her life, porn. You know, I, I this was not in the articles. So the second, so first layer is you do it to they're doing it to celebrities. Okay, least surprising thing in the world. Look, and we're not unaware that you can look it up. Okay, uh, so uh, second thing that I, as I was reading the first article from Motherboard, I was like, they're gonna do it to people in their own lives, and of course, of course, they're doing it to people in their own lives, just grabbing pictures from Instagram or other places. And using this technology to create porn with someone they know. Okay, now the what is not in the articles is I just realized as you were talking, mm -hmm. they could then take their own picture, yeah, put it into the guy. Okay, if it's going in that direction, yes, and then all of a sudden they have a video of themselves having sex with this person, and it might be a person you don't even know. It might be a creeper that you met once or at a bar or wherever, right, mm -hmm. at a conference. Anybody can do it now. And you don't need a computer background. This has huge implications, and and that's why we're discussing it here today. Exactly. So the reason why it has implications is because it, it, over the last month, the technology has improved so much that you know it, it looks increasingly um, convinc convincing. Mm -hmm. And so, how are people going to be able to decide whether or not a pornographic video featuring? A specific person, whether it's a celebrity or a private citizen, is real or fake, and it could have real ramifications toward people's lives. There are employers who might see this video or come across this video and decide, mm, I'm not going to hire this person because of his or her past. And let's keep it real: this is mostly going to negatively impact women. Of course, um, of course. And and right now, I feel like one of the biggest issues in America is the inability to. Differentiate between real news and propaganda, fake news, completely fabricated news articles. If we're having a difficult time doing that, who's to say you know Americans wouldn't have, or people in general, not just Americans, wouldn't have a difficult time figuring out whether or not pornographic material is real or fake? And you know, you're hearing this story, and you might have read the articles, and we'll put the links down below. Um, but um, but the person watching it. Will not have gotten the background, mm -hmm. uh, and and by the way, another thing that uh, employers might do is nah, I don't want to take chances. Right, it might or might not be true, but I'm not taking any chances. So then you just ruin that person's life. Now, it, that, maybe that's an extreme example, and not everybody's life is going to be ruined. But there's also the thing that it is deeply disturbing for people that uh, now, and it, it, you get, there's a whole range of how people can react to it. I remember. All the way back, you know, look, when immediately when the internet came out, was the first thing people did. They took celebrity heads and put them onto nude bodies. That's as old as time, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but now this is sophisticated. We're gonna show you a video in a second, not a porn video, okay? Um, but I knew a guy who had taken my picture and put it onto naked bodies. <laughs> Me, 
I don't care, <laughs> okay, that's, I got thick skin, have at it, Hoss, what do I care? That's your mind, your business, I don't care at all. Do you, boo, okay. literally, I guess. I guess, case, yeah. right? Um, but there are people, uh, a lot of people who are not like me, who will be mortified, devastated. shocked, yeah. devastated by this. And so I know that everybody, you know, like people who do this kind of stuff, lulls, yada, yada, mm -hmm. and men are men and, you know, and they're gonna do things. But for a lot of people, it is not lulls. You just have to be at a bare minimum cognizant that it could have devastating consequences. So um, I looked into you know the discussions that people are having, uh, the people who are using this technology and, and the people who love this technology. I was reading um, certain forums where they're talking about it, conversing about it. And um, you're right in that, yeah, it's gonna impact celebrities, that's one thing. But more importantly, what about private citizens that they know in their personal lives. And some of them are saying, well, this could be used for bribery, right? Uh, we can, um, or extortion, right? Mm -hmm. Or we can we can go after uh, certain people and tell them like, hey, you know, if you uh, don't want this video out there, this very convincing pornographic video, maybe you pay up or do X, Y, and Z. So oh. there's that issue. There's also um, there, some worry that there could be political ramifications for, for some politicians. So you know what, I, I wanna talk about those implications. But as you were talking, I came to another conclusion, mm -hmm. which is that Trump is going to be thrilled by this. You know why? Mm -hmm. and then he, and, and so is R. Kelly. They can now say, "Oh, that wasn't us. They AI'd that thing." Well, that's another. Okay. Yeah, that's another potential negative uh, outcome of this, right? They can deny the the authenticity of an actual real video. That's um, right. So. so those are huge implications. But let's show you the video first, and then talk a little bit more about those implications because uh, I think it is going to change uh, the way we perceive things, uh, not just online, but but in a lot of parts of our lives. So here's a video of them doing it in regards to George Bush. Yes. It's just facial expressions, just watch. To this end, we resynthesized the mouth interior of the target actor using video footage from the training sequence based on temporal and photometric similarity. As we can see, we are able to generate a realistic and convincing reenactment result. Wow. So <laughs> he moves his face and it looks like Bush is moving yeah. his face, talk, etc. And, and I'm impressed they got Sebastian Gorka to play that role in that video. Uh, <laughs> a little bit like him. <laughs> anyway, um, so now the, the wider political implications. Um, well, now you don't know any tape if it's real or not real. Um, and, and by political, I don't mean just in the sphere of politics, but for societal, cultural, etc. Mm -hmm. So hey, we have evidence uh, of a crime. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Somebody might have AI'd it, and now they could do it in a way that is nearly uh, undetectable. And so now you'll never know. And and so that has so many implications, hard to wrap your head around it. Right, and, and so there, and look, I'm not a tech genius at all, but there has to be some form of technology that can uh, help people determine the authenticity of this video, right? right? And I'm sure that there might be something out there already or something that's currently being developed. But what worries me more than anything is that in this new age of technological advancements, no one really gets to decide what their reputation is. It doesn't matter how well behaved you are, it doesn't matter how good of a person you are, it doesn't matter if you've never taken a nude photo in your life, you've never done porn in your life. It, it doesn't matter if you're an honest person. They can put anything out there about you. Someone else gets to decide what your reputation is. And there are so many people who just will never be able to know what the truth really is. And that's the part that, that worries me. Not just for you know public figures or whatever, but more importantly, like private citizens, like the powerless, you know, these high school girls who might have to oh, deal with this that. kind of stuff. That's what that's what worries me more than anything. Because I think public figures it's not that you sign up for it, but once you're a public figure, I mean, there is some element of abuse that you should expect to deal with, right? But it's, I don't- and, it, and it's not right. It's but, not right. But it, but people are aware of it. But now doing it to private citizens, is a, it's a, another layer. And look, one more thing. I don't know if it'll ever have uh, positive uh, repercussions. And I imagine that there'll be some positive implications of it at some point. Uh, but in the beginning, at a minimum, 
who's going to use it? Bad guys. Now, I'm not talking about the porn. I'm talking about, uh, and you know, you could have an opinion that is very, very, very justifiable that is anyone doing this is a bad guy. Uh, but, but I'm talking about, um, it's not like a, like let's look, talk about in the political sphere. It's not like uh, Bernie Sanders is going to take a video of somebody's face mm -hmm. and then put them in a in a in a compromising position and pretend it's real. Like the good guys are never going to do that, right? Yeah. But the bad guys will immediately do it. And they'll do it over and over and over until people catch on. But by the time the people catch on, they'll have ruined however many careers. Right, and also if we create this environment where we can't tell what's real and what's fake, well then what if there's something, there's a scandal involving actual evidence and people just don't believe the evidence because you can't tell what's real and what's fake. Yes, so it, it, in some ways it'll first damn the innocent, Yeah. Uh, then uh, at, at some point, it, it will protect the guilty. Yeah. So it's a it's a lose lose in those ways. And I know if you're a young guy, you're thinking it's not a lose lose. You're thrilled about it. I, I we understand that, but uh, you. I'm just asking you to think about the repercussions for the person you're doing it to. And and it is. Oh, they do think about it, and, and they don't care. <laughs> maybe some of them don't care, and maybe think they yeah. they get uh, further pleasure from that. I don't know, but uh, but it does have consequences, mm -hmm. and uh, and so. But now it's unleashed into the world. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast, you could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it, you can stream it, and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.